As if taking a picture wasn't a challenging enough technological prowess, we are now doing the opposite, modeling the world from pictures. I've covered amazing AI-based models that could take images and turn them into high-quality scenes, a challenging task that consists of taking a few images in the two-dimensional picture world to create how the object or person will look like in the real world. You can easily see how useful this technology is for many industries like video games, animation movies, or advertising. Take a few pictures and instantly have a realistic model to insert into your product. The results have dramatically improved upon the first model I covered in 2020, called Nerf. And this improvement isn't only about the quality of the results. Nvidia made it even better. Not only that the quality is comparable, if not better, but it's more than 1000 times faster with less than 2 years of research. This is the pace of AI research. Exponential gains in quality and efficiency. A big factor that makes this field so incredible. You will be lost with the new techniques and quality of the results if you miss just a couple of days, which is why I first created this channel and why you should also subscribe. Just look at those 3D models. These cool models only needed a dozen pictures and the AI guessed the missing spots and created this beauty in seconds. Something like this took hours to produce with Nerf. Let's dive into how they made this much progress on so many fronts in so little time. But first, I'd like to take a few seconds to talk about Active Loop, an amazing company I recently stumbled on and they are now sponsoring this video. Active Loop is becoming popular with its open source dataset format for AI, Hub, one of the top 10 Python packages in 2021. With Active Loop Hub, you can treat your datasets as NumPy like arrays. As a result, you have a simple dataset API for creating, storing, version controlling, and querying AI datasets of any size. It's perfect to collaborate with your team and iterate on your datasets. The feature I like the most is being able to stream my datasets while training models in PyTorch or TensorFlow. This means anyone can access any slice of the data and start training models in seconds, no matter how big is the dataset, just like that. How cool is that? With all these neat features, Hub definitely frees me from building data pipelines so I can train my models faster. Active Loop has just released more than 100 image, video, and audio datasets available almost instantly with a single line of code. Try them out in your workflows and let me know in the comments below how it works. I'd love to know what you build with them. Instant Nerf attacks the task of inverse rendering which consists of rendering a 3D representation from pictures, a dozen in this case, approximating the real shape of the object and how light will behave on it, so that it looks realistic in any new scene. Here, NERF stands for Neural Radiance Fields. I will only do a quick overview of how NERFs work, as I already covered this kind of network in multiple videos, which I invite you to watch for more detail and a better understanding. Quickly, NERFs is a type of neural network. They take images and camera settings as inputs and learn how to produce an initial 3D representation of the objects or scenes in the picture. Fine-tune this representation using learned parameters from a supervised learning settings. This means that we need a 3D object and a few images of it at different known angles to train it. And the network will learn to recreate the object. To make the results as best as possible, we need a picture from multiple viewpoints, like this, to be sure we capture all or most sides of the objects. And we train this network to understand general objects' shapes and light radiance. We are asking it to learn how to fill the missing parts based on what it has seen before and how light reacts to them in the 3D world. Basically, it will be like asking you to draw a human without giving any details on the hands. You'd automatically assume the person has five fingers based on your knowledge. This is easy for us as we have many years of experience behind the belt. And one essential thing current AIs are lacking, our intelligence. We can create links where there are none and do many unbelievable things. On the opposite side, AI needs specific rules, or at least examples to follow, which is why we need to give it what an object looks like in the real world during its training phase to improve. Then, after such a training process, you only feed the images with the camera angles at inference time and it produces the final model in a few hours. Did I say a few hours? I'm sorry, I was still in 2021. It now does that in a few seconds. 
This new version by Nvidia called Instant Nerf is indeed 1000 times faster than its Nerf predecessor from a year ago. Why? Because of multi-resolution hash grid encoding. Multi what? Multi-resolution hash grid encoding. They explained it very clearly with this sentence. We reduce the cost with a versatile new input encoding that permits the use of a smaller network without sacrificing quality, thus significantly reducing the number of floating point and memory access operations. In short, they change how the NERF network will see the inputs, so our initial 3D model prediction makes it more digestible and information efficient to use a smaller network while keeping the quality of the outputs the same. Keeping such a high quality using a smaller network is possible because we are not only learning the weights of the NERF network during training, but also the way we are transforming those inputs beforehand. So the input is transformed using trained functions, here step 1 to 4, compressed in a hash table to focus on valuable information extremely quickly, and then sent to a much smaller network in step 5, as the inputs are, similarly, much smaller now. They are storing the values of any type in the table with keys indicating where they are stored for super efficient parallel modifications, and removing the lookup time for big arrays during training and inference. This transformation and a much smaller network is why instant nerf is so much faster and why it made it into this video. And voila! This is how Nvidia is now able to generate 3D models like these in seconds. If this wasn't cool enough, I said that it can store values of any type, which means that this technique can not only be used with nerfs, but also with other super cool applications like gigapixel images that become just as incredibly efficient. Of course, this was just an overview of this new paper attacking this super interesting task in a novel way. I invite you to read their excellent paper for more technical detail about the multi-resolution hash grid encoding approach and their implementation. A link to the paper and their code is in the description below. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please take a second to let me know what you think of the overall quality of the videos and new editing. I will see you next week with another amazing paper.